We have witnessed great intellectual display, improvement in composure, fluency, and confidence from our intelligent and exceptional contestants. And now, introducing to you all semi-finalists, from the upper primary, we have Karin Okran, Inko Brightina, Teofilos Samaha, Ishira Yamua, Eunice Bafua, Nathan Esiama, Abna Frimpong. Mawiram Duku, Derek Kofi, Michelle Insia, Clenam Williams, Abba Brown, Tiaya Belim Etime, Nam Williams, Rahel Ofue, Prisla Mushu, and from the lower primary, we have Ebenezer Akbaribo, Janelle Adams, Ransford Apia, Gabriela Jogbanyue, Eva Obing, Sika Dapa, Dorothy Dakwa, Gad Akofu, Elizabeth Damsing. And Sonia Achampong, who qualifies to the grand finale of Bookworm Season 8. This competitive stage, your guess may be as good as mine. All you need to do now is to pick up your mobile devices and vote your outstanding and favorite contestants as they also work hard to qualify to the grand finale. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Product from Twilliam Industrial Company Limited. This advert is FDA approved. From week one to the quarterfinal, we have witnessed great intellectual display, improvement in composure, fluency, and confidence from our intelligent and exceptional contestants. And now, introducing to you all semi finalists. From the upper primary, we have Karin Okran, Inko Brightina, Teofilos Samaha, Ishira Yamua, Eunice Bafua. Nathan Esiama, Abna Frimpong, Mawiram Duku, Derek Kofi, Michelle Insia, Clenam Williams, Abba Brown, Tiaya Belim Etime, Nam Williams, Rahel Ofue, Prisla Mushu, and from the lower primary, we have Ebenezer Akbaribo, Janelle Adams, Ransford Apia, Gabriela Jogbanyue, Eva Obing, Sika Dapa, Dorothy Dakwa, Gad Akofu, Elizabeth Damsing, and Sonia Achampong, who qualifies to the grand finale of Bookworm Season 8. This competitive stage, your guess may be as good as mine. All you need to do now is to pick up your mobile devices and vote your outstanding and favorite contestants as they also work hard to qualify to the grand finale. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Cupcake. 
Ladies, and book on Avenue Consult as well. Okay, let's head straight to our judges. Hello, judges. Good to see you again. Oh, thank you. Yeah, looking good today. Wow, thank you. Same to you. Oh, today I just wanted to keep it simple. <laughs> anyway, what are we doing today? Um, today we are doing, we are celebrating um, our mothers. Okay. Yes, we are celebrating our mothers. So we are expecting our contestants to, um, I mean, read more, um, make sure whatever that they are going to say or what they are going to read, it will motivate their parents or especially their mothers. So I'm expecting one, um, the effective use of the podium. Okay. Yes, when they come with their composure and the confidence. Yes, but I believe they are doing well. Yeah, yeah. They are. yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Sir Ray, Mr. Evans Adesi. So what are the procedures today? What are they doing? All right, so adding up to what my co-judge said, we are doing, we are celebrating our medals today. After the script, we will ask the kids to summarize in brief okay. what they have to say about their mothers. And then we we'll also ask a question. Okay, we'll, in fact, we we'll encourage mothers to ask their kids questions. And then the kids will respond to their mothers. So we come back here and then we do a summary of the whole, you know, show. Thank you so much, judges. So you've heard them. I know you want to hear our contestants read, but first we have to award our book crime champion. Let's take a look at the numbers. Planet, a world of taste. Another quality product from Twilliam Industrial Company Limited. This advert is FDA approved. The nominees for Book Crime Champion from the lower primary category are Janelle Adams, Gabriela Jogbenue, and Ebenezer Akparibu. Our Book Crime Champion, Janelle Adams, congratulations for winning Book Crime Champion. Mr. Evans, please help us to present the certificate for winning Book Crime Champion. And then, as usual, present from our sponsor, from our supporters, Planet Drinks and Two Cupcakes. I'm sure you all also want your favorite contestants to win this read. I can only imagine the pride knowing your favorite contestant has won this reader. So just dial star three six five star three six six to vote and proceed to the short code. Let's move on to the first set of readers from the lower primary category. <laughs> Ghanaians and cherished the U.S. of Bukem across the borders. My name is Emeza Paribu, a contestant of Bukem Season 8 and a people of the Kranu Montessori School, Mainland Africa. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bukem, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. I am going to talk about my mother. My mother's name is Vicky Wabrago. She was born on 3 July 1980 in Boku, in the Upper East region of Ghana. She's 42 years old. She has a round face and fair in complexion. She's 5 feet tall. She's a midwife by profession. She's married to Mr. Samuel Pabu and blessed with four children. She attends Abandoned Life Church at Anfea. My mother is my first teacher. She teaches me and my siblings to live a good moral life. She's very caring, loving, and hardworking. She always wakes up early and prepares breakfast and ensures we eat before going to school. Although she's a career woman, she spends time with me and my siblings. She always prays with us and encourages us to learn hard and become great in future. The food she likes best is fried corn with Ghana soup. She likes singing and reading. I like my mother because she's a selfless woman who will sacrifice her comfort for me, her family, and her clients. God bless my mother and grants her loving life. She will always be my role model. I love you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, too. All right. So that was a beautiful display. 
So it means that you're going to summarize what you read about mommy. Okay? Okay. So let's go. My mother. My mother's name is Gitsu Abrago. She was born on 3rd July 1980 in Boko. In the upper east of Ghana. She's 42 years old. She's fair in complexion. She's she has a round face. She's fair. She's a major by profession. She married to Mr. Samantha Rue and blesses four kids. She wakes up early in the morning to prepare her class and ensures she eats before going to school. Alright, now I'm here. Mommy is born in 1980, right? Yes. Mommy should be 43 years, I think. Mommy, how are you? I'm fine, sir. I'm sure you can see some papers in front of you, right? Yes, sir. Alright, so you pick one of them and let's know the number you are picking, okay? This one, let's know the number inside the paper. What makes mom happy when she's sad? Okay, here you go. When she's sad, I help her to become happy. To talk to her? Yes. Okay. Alright, so I can tell you this young man, I, 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 I must confess that. So, mommy, we are proud of all of you. Congratulations, and let's see how you fare in school next year, okay? Thank you. All the best. Hello, Ghanaians and cherished viewers of Bookworm Across the Borders. My name is Jenna Siva Adams, a consultant of Bookworm Season 8 and a pupil of the Credo Montessori School, Newland, Athena. Please. I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Book will be today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, what's your name? Yes, my name is Janelle Silva Adams. Okay, here you go. Okay, three, two, one, action. Jenna, how are you? Yes, I'm fine, thank Always you. Always looking good. Thank you. Yes. Mommy, you're welcome. How are you? Alright, so you read about your mom, and the mom will ask a question, okay? I hope you understand it. Okay. So, you start. All the best. Thank you. My mother, there is a remarkable woman who can at her once a day through every corner of her home. Her love and compassion touches the lives of all who are fortunate enough to cross paths with her. This woman is my mother. She is called Mijin Famako Yebra. An entrepreneur, industrial, hardworking, and a humble woman who comes from Rara in the Western region of Ghana. She is a young woman who loves God and can be described as the product of Proverbs 31, a virtual swimmer. Her day starts, her day starts as early as 5.30 a.m. by making sure I get ready for school. Then she rushes back to her workplace, works until 5 p.m., then helps me with my homework and other activities such as teaching me how to take care of household chores. I can boldly say that I have the best mom in the world because of the training she possesses, a teacher, mentor, and a role model. I am always assured of her love, care, and affection at all times. She understands my strengths and weaknesses and encourages me to be bold in every decision that I take. My goal is to win this book poem tournament for my mother as a token of my and love for everything she has done and continues to do for me. Thank you. All right, that's a good goal. And then I wish you all the best in school, okay? All right, so, Mommy, you have some papers in front of you. So, before then, all right. Um, um, Janelle, you have to summarize what you just read for us. Okay. Tell us what you read in brief. Okay. I read about... The story is about my mother. Okay. She, my mother is a humble woman. She can be described as the product of Proverbs 31. She is a virtuous woman. She, her day starts as early as 5.30 a.m. by making sure I get ready for school. All right, I think she, that's enough. You, you've said quite a number of things. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so mommy, uh, are you good with English language? Yes. Okay, so check the papers over there, and 
then let's see the number you'll pick. This is not a, a lottery, so don't worry. Number five. All right. Number five. So can you read? Okay. When you are, when you make mom angry, show us her facial expression. What is the one thing she says when you make her annoyed? All right. Is that a facial expression? Okay. So this tell us one thing that she normally says when she's angry. Stop that. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, I hope she has satisfied you. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, Janelle, um, I wish you all the best. On your own test, I think the first paragraph, you missed the word radiates. All right. And so next time you are reading, you pay attention to the words you are seeing in the script. Okay. All right. So, Mommy, thank you for coming. I must confess, you're all beautiful. And may God help you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, and cherry viewers. My name is Ransom Kusi Apia. I'm a pupil of Child on the Run International School and a contestant of Bookworm season. Please vote for me to win this competition. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. My friend, you're welcome. Thank you. What's your name again? Yes. What's your name again? Your name? Ransford. Ransford. So you know what I'm going to do today, right? Yes. I'm going to talk to us about mommy. Okay? Okay. And then you summarize what you read. Okay. Or what you read. Okay. And you also answer a question from mommy. Okay. I hope you understand that. Yes. Mommy, I'm Thank you. Oh, you're okay with G? English, right? Yes. Oh, okay. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. So, uh, at the point, we'll ask you to pick a paper from there, okay? Okay. All right. So, let's start. My mother, the name of my mother is Mrs. Celia. She is a She is five feet tall. She is fair in complexion and a dark eye and a black hair. She is very neat and protective. My mother's love is profound and indescriptive emotion. From the very beginning, she embraces us with open arms and provides a natural environment that shapes our life. Her life is all conditional, and she is also there to guide us through the highs and the lows. In my life, my mother was the almost impact. She is my superhero and constant source of support and inspiration. Her unraveling dedication to our family is unforgettable. Not only does she take care of us, but also extend her love and kindness to those in need. My mother welcomes my friend with delicious food, and my friend also loves it when they visit my home. However, her life surpasses more than the physical emotion. She plays the role of mentor and guide, helping me navigate through life challenges. Whether she is assisting with my studies or presently explaining complex concepts, she goes the extra mile to ensure my understanding. I am confident that I can handle any obstacles because I believe in my potential. I love, I love no, no bounds and fills my heart with warmth and gratitude. I am truly fortunate to have such loving parents in my life who consistently support me and encourage my growth. All right, lucky boy. Thank you. Mommy. Before then, can you summarize what you read? Yes. Briefly, yes. The name of my mother is Mrs. Cecilia Kushi Kwashi. She is five feet tall. She has a dark eyes and a black hair. She is very neat and protective. Thank you. Beautiful. That's great. I like the fact that you are stressing the fact that mommy is five feet tall. <laughs> anyway, mommy. Yes. And so you pick the paper in front of you, just one of them. Don't worry, it's not a lottery, so just one. Okay. Yeah, so the number, let's see the number you Number have. three. Number three. Yes. Okay, so read the question if you can see. When you wrong your mom, what does she do to you? She advises me. She doesn't need you. No. 
Is it because on TV? <laughs> All right. So, mommy always advises you. So, you t- always take advice from mommy, okay? Okay. Mommy said, don't do this, you don't do it, okay? Okay. All right. But you've done so well. Your reading was good. But that this one, you have to take it to BBC because it's an elaborate speech about your mother. And that is great. Clap for yourself. Mommy, thank you for coming. Thank you for caring for him and all of that. Okay. May God bless you, okay? Amen. All right. Thank you. Hello, Ghanaians and cherished viewers of Bookworm Across the Borders. My name is Gabriela Jogunri, a contestant of Bookworm Season 8 and a people of Abandoned Life Academy. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. So today's tax, you read from the scripts, tell us about your mom, and after, you do a summary, okay? okay? Mom will ask you a question, and then you answer. Mom, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. All right, let's go. My amazing mom, a mother is not only someone who has given birth, but she is a selfless woman full of unconditional love and care for her children. My mother is one of them. My mother, a remarkable woman, goes by the name Mrs. Joyce Jokwenwe. She is in her early 30s and she is married to Mr. Francis Jokwenwe. She hails from Avante Toji in the Volta region of Ghana. She is fair complexion, about 5 feet tall, and she likes to go and lie sit. She is a fashion designer and minister of the gospel. My mother is not only my parents, but my best friend as well. She always showers me with unwavering love and support. She has taught me how to be very hardworking and prayerful. Her words of support can bring hope in even the worst circumstances. Beyond the tender care, my mother is a hardworking woman, woman who prioritizes the needs of her family over her. The selflessness, strength, and compassion of my mother has taught me the importance of putting others first, thereby shaping my desire to make a positive difference in the life of others. In conclusion, my mother is the best mommy, and I'm forever grateful for her presence in my life. I aspire to emulate her qualities in my own life. She's my motivation, and I'm going to make her proud. Thank you. Great speech. Thank you. So you have to turn the paper and do a summary for us. All right, so in brief, what uh, is the script about? I read about my mother. The name of my mother is called Mrs. George Jokwemi. She is about five feet of fair and in her early thirties. She comes from Abate Toji in the Volta region of Ghana, and she is a fashion designer and Star of the gospel. She, my mother always showered me with unraving love and support. She has. All right, if I allow you, go and 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 go. All right, mommy. Yes, sir. All right, so you have some papers in front of you. Pick one. And then we see what is there. Which number did you pick first? Number three. Number three, okay. So you listen to mommy, okay? When you wrong your mom, what does she do to you? Very good question. Yes, tell us. She punish you. Punish you. Beating you, right? <laughs> Mommy. Mommy. We beat you like you boom, 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 like that, right? <laughs> anyway, and so you have to be a good girl, okay? And just make sure you're a good girl in the house, and that will be fine. But apart from that, you know, just reminding you and your other colleagues, you are also marked for eye contact. All right. And so first reading, you have to at least pay attention to your audience as well, okay? But you've done well. Okay, so congratulations. Thank you. Hello, Ghanaians and cherished viewers of Bookworm Across the Borders. My name is Eva Obin Sewa, a contestant of Bookworm Season 8 and a pupil of Excellence Stars International Academy at Amazon Aviancy. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. So, today's tax is that you read about your mom, you summarize about your mom, okay? And the mom will ask you a question, and then you answer. I hope you understand that. Yes. Okay. Mom, 
Ya kwamba. Thank you. Uwaya sofa. Alright. Thank you. Eh, ujua ebe na yefe na ba ofa ya Okay. So, let's start. Eh, modern slum. My mother is a guiding light leading me through life's dark night. Whenever I need help with my work, she's always there for me. Her patience is unmatched. Her gentle guidance never grows old. With her caring hand, she helps me strive to be the best. Through thick and time, she is by my side, helping me win. Her love for me is pure and true, making my heart grow stronger every day. My mother, my biggest supporter. I'll never forget the homework she has helped me through and the many other things she has done for me. Her hard work and dedication inspire me to be the best version of myself. I know that I can always count on her to be my rock, my shelter and my everything. And as I grow older and wiser too, I'll never forget all that she has done for me. Thank you. Beautiful speech. So you turn the paper. All right, so um, uh, give a brief summary of what you read. Uh, mother Slav. Okay. My mother is a guiding light leading me through all life's dark nights. Whenever I need help with my work, she's always there for me. Her patience is unmatched. Her gentle guidance never grows old with her caring hand. Her love for me is pure and true, making my heart strong. All right, so if I let you go, you'll go on and on and on and on. So you're just too good, okay? Maureen. Alright. So number five. Listen to me, my dear. When you make mommy angry, show us her facial expression. Do it again, let's see. Okay, so what is that one thing that she says when she's angry? Ask, uh -huh. She, she. All right, so I'll, I'll assume you are protecting mommy at this stage. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, mommy. Yeah, yeah, and there's a, no, 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 fire. no. Yeah, this and there's a, yeah, we we need exercise. Then I have you move up, and all year it's a week, but that's it. Miss Edison is a Ubufua, Yana, then I am Oka. I didn't want to be young for home. Oh, Casa, we are actually woman. All right, so, and I'm asking. My sister, thank you very much for coming. God bless all of us, okay? Okay. These contestants are adorable. I love the way they come in with confidence. They read, they answer questions, they summarize. Whatever the judges tell them, they take it in good faith. And they are so good. So how can you say no to these adorable, cute faces? We are begging you to vote for them. Just dial star 365, star 366, hash to vote, and proceed to the short code. For Ebenezer Akaribo, B33. General Adams, B34. Ransford Apia, B35. Gabriela Jobenue, B40, and Ival Ben, B42. Let's go for a quick break and then small. Welcome to King's Class Senior High School, a sure place for your A1. We offer quality SHS. Our teachers are very experienced with various degree qualifications. Pass Wasi once by attending our SHS. Courses, business, general arts, science, visual arts, home economics. Students only pay a token per term for development. We offer Wasi May June registration. Double track classes for green and gold track students. Mature entrance exams classes for candidates who are 25 five years or above. Pass WASI within seven months even if you've not attended SHS before. We have experienced examiners who will prepare you for A1. Pay just 100 Ghana CDs to start your remedial class. Wayek Biometric Registration is ongoing. Affordable hostels are available. Call Prof to register now. Locate us at Flat Top. King's Class SHS. The Greater Light. King's Class SHS. Tested and truly trusted. From week one to the quarterfinal, we have witnessed great intellectual display, improvement in composure, fluency, and confidence from our intelligent and exceptional contestants. And now, introducing to you all semi-finalists, from the upper primary, we have Karen Okran. 
Inko Brightina, Teofilos Samaha, Ishira Yamua, Eunice Bafua, Nathan Esiama, Bna Frimpong, Mawiram Duku, Derek Kofi, Michelle Isia, Clenam Williams, Abba Brown, Tiaya Balim Etime, Nam Williams, Rahel Ofue, Prisla Mushu, and from the lower primary, we have Ebenezer Akbaribo, Janelle Adams, Ransford Apia, Gabriela Jogbanyue, Eva Obing, Sika Dapa, Dorothy Dakwa, Gad Akofu, Elizabeth Damsing, and Sonia Achampong, who qualifies to the grand finale of Bookworm Season 8. This competitive stage, your guess may be as good as mine. All you need to do now is to pick up your mobile devices and vote your outstanding and favorite contestants as they also work hard to qualify to the grand finale. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Sikadapa, a contestant of Bookworm Season 8 and a pupil of Sovereign Kids Care International School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. My mother, the name of my mother is named Bafi Papa, born on the 6th of October, 1987. She also was in the Central Region of Ghana. She is a teacher at the Sovereign Kids Care School at Sotho. Her parents put this party and got it extra, and she likes to read books and lecture. My mom is something that became a pillar and support in my life. She typically is placed on waiver affection, kept all the children, nudging us with a tender touch and selfless devotion. Her attitude is characterized by patience, understanding, and a deep desire to see her children flourish. A lot my loving mother's nature is one of unconditional love. She provides a safe haven for us and children, offering comfort in times of distress and celebrating our joys. Her love is a constant presence and during to laps and sit downs, and it often serves as a foundation for our emotional well being. Mabel was also contrary, is still moral values and a sense of spirituality in the family. She teaches the importance of kindness, empathy, and humility, guiding her children to be compassionate and responsible members of society. My mother's occupation as a pupil teacher speaks volumes about her dedication to education and nurturing young minds. As a teacher, she likely brings the nurturing and caring qualities into the classroom, shaping the future of her school with knowledge and empathy. Thank you, ma'am. I love you. Super. Clap for yourself. You're done. Thank you. Now, do you know what I would do for me? Yes. You just turn the paper. Okay. And summarize what you just read. Okay. In summary, the name of my mother is Mira Fipadapa. She was born on the 6th of October, 1987, and she comes from Asi Elin, in the central region of Ghana. My mom is a beacon of love and support in my life. She displays unwavering affection, such as empath humility, empathy, and guidance, guiding her children to be compassionate members of Super. the society. Okay. Thank you. Clap yourself again. Clap yourself again. Good. You should read that one. Thank you. For me. Yes, sir. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Because I want to hear it again. So what's your name? I'm Jimai Marufi from Martin. Wow. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Um, just pick one of the paper, then show it to them. Show it to me. And then show it to Mama. Yes. Okay. So please, I hope you can read. Yes, please. All right. Then read for me. What does Mommy do to make you happy when you are sad? She reads me storybooks and buys me gifts. Thank you. Wow. Mommy, is that so? Yes, please. Wow. Thank you. 
det ikke helt ulovligt. of Vukwem across the borders. My name is Dorothy A.J. Dalkwa, a contestant of Vukwem season 8 and a pupil of the Credo Montessori School, New Land of Kenya. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Vukwem, free today, me tomorrow. Thank you. Mothers are said to be special, but my mother is super special, and no one can be compared to her. Mrs. Elizabeth Merkua EJ is the name of my mother. She is 35 years old, about 5 feet tall and dark in complexion. Her favorite color is white. She comes from Kuru, who is in the eastern region of Ghana. My mother is a proud teacher and a wife with four beautiful girls. She wakes up early in the morning to prepare my siblings and I for school. She brings time out of her busy schedule to help my siblings and I to study. When I am sad and bored, she always cheers me up and encourages me. I feel safe and happy when I am with her. She listens to music during her leisure time, and I love it when we sing together. My mother is a super woman because she inspires me to be strong and will go all out to provide for my needs. I remember that on my sleeping, my mother will not sleep nor rest till I am well. I love my mom because she is intelligent, hardworking, and kind-hearted. My mother is my superhero. My mother is the best. Thank you. Wow. That all? Yes. Good. Summarize what you just read and let's hear you. My mother. The, Mrs. Elizabeth. Mekua AJ is the name of my mother. She is 35 years old, about 5 feet tall and dark in complexion. She comes from Kweru, who is in the eastern region of Ghana. Her favorite color is white. She is a, she is a proud teacher and a wife with four beautiful girls. My mother is a wonderful person and my superhero. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can. We've really done well, okay? Thank you. Good. Mommy. Yes, please. You're welcome. Thank you. Mom, please, what's your name? This is um, Elizabeth Mekua AJ. Oh, okay. So, Mommy, you are going to pick one of the papers there. Okay. Yeah, then mention the number to me. Okay. Then you read a question. Okay. She's going to answer the question. Okay. All right. This is number four. Number four. What does Mommy do to make you happy when you are sad? So, Dorothy, when you are sad, what does Mommy make you do? She cheers, she's, she cheers me up and encourages me. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mommy, is it true? Yes, please. All right. All right. Wonderful. Clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. Good. Thank you. Hello, Daniels and Jerry viewers of Google. I first the border. My name is Dad Agopo. A contestant of Google GG8 and a people of Marcus Garrity Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me. To teach me in this competition. I need your vote to progress to the next day. Book when read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Good. Are you ready to read? Yes. And are you ready to make mommy proud? Mrs. Comfort of Oyewa Entry Akofo is my mother's name. She comes from Late Ekiapin in the eastern region of Ghana, but she stays at Gomwa Gujata in the central region of Ghana. My mother is a trader. The food she likes best is fufu and palm nut soup. The game she likes best is beef. The movie she likes best is Hollywood film. My mom has four children. I am the first of four. One boy and three girls. The things I like most about my mother is when she helps me with my homework. She helps me when a teacher gives me a project work. I like it when she cooks for us. My mother is a homemaker, and she is the strongest woman I know. I like my mother very much because she is a role model, gorgeous, talented, a prayer warrior, and above all, Outstanding woman. Thank you. Thank you, Kat. Mommy. Yes, sir. Akwaba. Yes, sir. Um, how many
come there if you come one without her. Anyone? All right. Me do the guard. Why are they? Why come home? Send me brain. And see my every any day. Um, on the papers we go home. Anyone? Okay. Uh huh. He back home. Now poor. Number no answer me. Now me check question. Question three. Oh, okay. Let us see. So, um, God, are you ready to answer the question? Yes. Okay. When you wrong your mom, what does she do to you? She punish me. She punish you, right? Are you sure? For me, eh, look at her. I'll show you. Also, there is a off more. Eh, yeah, a brother. I'll show you. All right. Show you. All right. Be before that, no. Turn your paper and summarize what you just read. Let me see. Hussein's comfort of Oriwa Akofo is my mother. She comes from Lata Ekiape in the eastern region of Ghana, but she stays at Omabujata in the central region of Ghana. My mother is a trader. The food she likes best is fufu and palm nut soup. The game she likes best is Ruby. The movie she likes best is Nollywood Soup. My mom has four children. I am the first of four. One boy and three Very girls. Good. Very good. Very good. You've done well. God bless you, okay? Okay. I wish you the best, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Ghanaians and cherish viewers of Vukwe across the borders. My name is Elizabeth Thompson, a contestant of Vukwe season 8 and a pupil of Nautical Goodwill Preparatory JH and JHS Nungwa. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your votes to progress to the next Stage. Book when read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Student, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing well. What's your name? Yes, my name is Elizabeth Thompson. Elizabeth Thompson. Yes, please. Are you ready to read? Yes, please. And make mommy proud? Yes, please. All right. Carry on. My amazing mother, in a world full of extra. Extraordinary beings, there is one person who stands out above all others in my life. She is Grace Amamensa. My mother's name is Grace Amamensa. Everyone in my co community prefers to call her Auntie Grace, but in my case, I call her Mommy. Mommy is not just a word to me. It is a feeling in itself and seems to solve my problem anytime I yell her name. My mother was born and raised in Sege Ada, a small suburb of the greater Accra region. My mother completed both her elementary and secondary education in Ada. She is an alumni of the University of Education, Winneba, and a graduate in early childhood. Professionally, she is a trader and a philanthropist. To describe her physical appearance, she is dark in complexion and about six feet tall. She has small lips and cute, chubby, chubby cheeks. She, but her beauty goes beyond physical appearance. She has a heart of God and is always showing kindness and compassion to those around her. My mother has been a selfless figure who provides for us and values the needs of her family. Mom works at all times in a little shop to provide for me and her family. She makes us smile by engaging in this menial trade. She has imparted the wisdom gained from her life's experiences through her sincere conversations and thoughtful advice. In conclusion, my mother is not just a mother, but an extraordinary human being. A playfulness love and unwavering support make her the most incredible mother anyone could ask for. As a friend will say, mon amour pour toi et pour toujours. My love for you is forever. Thank you. Wow. 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 Super. Super. Clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. Good. All right. So, turn the paper. Then summarize what you just read. Yes, I read about my mother. My amazing mother. My mother responds to the name Grace Amamensa. She was raised in Sega Ada, a small suburb of the greater Accra region. My mother completed both her elementary and secondary education in Ada. She is an alumni of the University of Education, Winnipeg. My, my mother always makes us happy. All right. All right. As, the, as the French says, mm -hmm. 
Mona, welcome to our April Fool show. My love for you is forever. Thank you. Wow, wow. So what does it mean, the French? It's, it means my, my love for you is forever. Oh, my goodness. Wow, wow. For me. <laughs> She's doing well. Yes. You are welcome. Thank you. Keep going. So, mommy, you are going to pick one of the papers. Okay. Then mention the number to me. Okay. Yes. Then you read the question. Make sure you show the question on the screen. Okay. So, I pick number three. Number three. Question number three. All right. So, now you can read the question. You can read from the screen. Okay. Here's it. When you wronged your mom, what does she do to you? She disciplines me. Really? She disciplines you, right? Because you train up the child the way she should grow. So, mommy, yes. God bless you. God bless you too. And Elizabeth, yes. you've done well. Okay? <laughs> and cherish viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Sonia Echiampo, a contestant of Bookworm Season 8 and a pupil of Nautical Goodwill Preparation, JHS Nungwa. Please, I want to encourage you to, to vote for me, to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Very good. So are you ready to read? Yes, yes. Make mommy proud? Yes. All right. Now let's go. My mother. My mother's name is Mrs. Kete Chiapo. She's an elderly woman in her, in her in early 40s. She was born on the 8th of January in the year 1980. My mother lived her early life in Session Yosu where she was born, but currently lives in Nungwa, a small town in Accra. My mother is a proud and hardworking businesswoman who deals in beautiful artwork, particularly ceramics and painting, taking her overall physique into consideration, I would say. My mother is a quite chibu and a bit overweight. She is about five feet and three inches tall. She is dark. Nevertheless, she she is gorgeous with her pretty brown eyes. She is happily married to my father, Mr. Hiko Echampo. She is a devout Christ, Christian one who fears God. She is a member of the Church of Pentecost at Station Nungwa. Her favorite food is fufu with pita guano soup or light soup with pork. The the game she likes most is Ludo. My mother's friendly, friendly and caring nature makes her very likable and draws many people to her. Personally, I really like her moral and disciplined lifestyle. Thank you. All right. Tell the paper, then summarize what you just read. My mother. My mother's name is Mrs. Kete Chiampo. She, she is... Ed, she is the elderly woman in her early, early 40s. She was born on the 8th of January in the year 1980. She is happily married to my father, Mr. Hilford Echampo. She is friendly and caring. She is friendly, caring. Nature makes me, makes many people, draws many people closer to her. All right. Sonia, yes. you've done well, okay? Okay. You've done well. So, Auntie, yes. good morning. Good morning. What's your head today? What's your name? All right. Um, what can I be And we need to be there in your Kenya, I don't care. And we need to be there in a small community. All right. It's about to be there any day. Um, the person who go on. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Number one. Number one. Okay. So, Sonia. Yes, sir. I'm going to read a question, then you answer, okay? Okay. 
What makes mom happy when she's sad? What makes mom happy when she's sad? When my father advised her that she should not be sad. <laughs> Give that one, okay? Give that one. All right. So, Auntie. Yes. Take a wasabi waba. Now, you can say, Uncle Kuneni, you're busy being on Uncle Kuneni. Okay, viewers, so you know what to do. You've seen it all. Today has been really interesting because today we are celebrating our mothers. These children are pouring their hearts out, describing their mothers. And when you are describing your mother, there's this pride, and they are doing so well. So just dial star three six five star three six six hash to vote and proceed to the short screen. They need your votes so much. So for Sikada Pa B43, Dorothy Dakwa B44, God Akol for B46, Elizabeth Damson B47, and Sonia Echampon B48. Let's go for a quick visa. We'll be back. <laughs> Another quality product from Twilliam Industrial Company Limited. This advert is FDA approved. From week one to the quarterfinal, we have witnessed great intellectual display, improvement in composure, fluency, and confidence from our intelligent and exceptional contestants. And now, introducing to you all semi finalists. From the upper primary, we have Karen Okran, Inko Brightina, Teofilos Samaha, Ishira Yamua, Eunice Bafua, Nathan Esiama, Bna Frimpom, Mawiram Duku, Derek Kofi, Michelle Insia, Clenam Williams, Abba Brown, Tiaya Balim Etime, Nam Williams, Rahel Ofue, Prisla Mushu, and from the lower primary, we have Ebenezer Akbaribo, Janelle Adams, Ransford Apia, Gabriela Jogbanyue, Eva Obing, Sika Dapa, Dorothy Dakwa, Gad Akofu, Elizabeth Damsing, and Sonia Achiampong, who qualifies to the grand finale of Bookworm Season 8. This competitive stage, your guess may be as good as mine. All you need to do now is to pick up your mobile devices and vote your outstanding and favorite contestants as they also work hard to qualify to the grand finale. Bookworm. Read today, lead tomorrow. Category Rachel Ofoi, Abina Frame Pong, and Brightina Inko. Our book and champion is Rachel Ofoi. Congratulations for winning book and champion. Sari, please join us on stage to help us present the certificate for book and champion. Hey, Rachel, you want to hug up all the book and the book and champion certificates? You've won a lot this season. Congratulations, you've done so well. And then, gifts from our sponsors. So there's the Planet Drinks and the Twist Cupcakes as well. Don't forget to follow us on our social media handles. On Facebook and YouTube, it's Bookworm Ghana. On Instagram, it's one book underscore when gh. Okay, let's move on to the first set of readers for the upper primary category. <laughs> Ghanaians and cherished viewers of Bukwem across the border. My name is Karen Okan, a contestant of Bukwem Season 8 and a pupil of Young Genius Montessori School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in this competition. I need your votes to progress to the next stage. Bukwem, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. Karen, our incoming lawyer, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? I like your hairstyle. Thank I like you. you are looking. Thank you. Mommy, you're welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? That smell is special. 
Thank you. Anyway, and so to you, you read from the scripts. Thank you. Your mom, do a summary of it, and mommy will pick a question and ask you, okay? okay. All right, so all the best. My mother, from my earliest memories, my mother has been a source of comfort and support. Her nurturing nature goes beyond words. She is a person who stays up there to help me with my hair. My mother is not just a caregiver, but a beautiful role model. Mrs. Patient Afiak Bepabi Okan is my mother's name, also known as Mama Pat. She is an ever from her catching the water region of Ghana and currently lives in, with her family at Old Ashaman Gravel Pit. She was born on 17th March 1978. She has attained 45 years of age. She holds CIM Diploma Certificate in Marketing, UK since 2014. She is a business person dealing in advertising materials such as printing inks and of all types, rolling stickers and meshes. My mother is very pretty and fair in complexion. She has pointed nose, brighter eyes with an average body size. She dresses decently well. Sea blue, shades of red and lemon green captivate her most. She loves designer perfumes like Unfold and Calvin Klein. She enjoys eating a wok with pepper with flour, which is fried fish, especially tilapia. A local ever dish which can po possibly win international competition like J Ghana Jollof. She's a better half to Mr. Imano Emu Okran and has four lovely children, three boys and two, one girl. She is a God fearing woman who worships at the, with the Enlightened Christian Garden Church at Hachu as the leader of the Joseph Department of Sus, responsible of supporting the church financially. Mama Pat is very calm, respects everyone, and is always ready to counsel people when they are confronted with life challenges. Because of her commitment and dedication towards church activity, she has won several awards. My mother loves to watch boxing as a game, cook and read. She has one unfulfilled dream career of becoming an air hostess. I love my mother because she is God-fearing, prayerful, determined and entertaining. She teaches me to be kind and sincere with everyone and dislikes lies. I am very lucky to have her as my mother. I admire her and will emulate her good ideas and cooking skills one day. Thank you. All right, at least for your script, I realize your mother has appointed those. And that's great. <laughs> Mommy, if one. Okay, so you pick one uh, uh, sheet from there. So which number is that? Number two. Number two. Okay, so read for us. What, what is that one thing you will never forget about mom? All right, over to you. I'll never forget that she is a very kind woman. She is very respectful. And she's very. Good. She's God fearing and very pretty. Oh. All right. Mommy, well, congratulations. Thank you. Just in the paper, let's do a summary of what you read about your mom. The name of my mother is Mrs. Patient Afi Agbe Fabi Okran. She, she is an ever from Akachi in the Volta region of Ghana and currently lives in, with her family at Old Ashoman Gravel Pit. She was born on four, and Friday, 17th March 1978. She has attained 45 years of age. She, she, she likes All to right. eat a All right. If I give you the chance, you go on and on. Clap to yourself. Charlie, you're so eloquent, and that's, that's great. I, I, I admire you for that, okay? Thank so I wish you all the best. Like I said, you become a lawyer, okay? Thank all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Ghanaians and cherished viewers of Bookworm Across the Borders. My name is Brightina Inko, contestant of Bookworm Season 8 and a pupil of Odogono Model 1 Basic School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Book web, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Brightina in white, always bright. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Mama. You are really fine? Yes, sir. Okay, so you read from the scripts, telling us about your mom. When you are done, you do a summary of it, okay? Okay. Mom will pick question from there and then you answer okay how okay. is not difficult okay. that's great so start my mother mrs blessing inko is my mother she is a proud native of bongo Balungo in the upper east region of ghana and a resident of abirikuma in accra she is in her late 30s she is the last child of her parents and married to mr joseph inko with whom she has three wonderful children my mother always looks smart young and attractive she is tall and light-skinned. She comes across as a shy person, but is confident and outspoken. Being a teacher by profession, my mother is strict, disciplined, and hardworking. She is broad-minded, intuitive, optimistic, and very determined. 
Mama, as we affectionately call her, never hesitate to correct us when we go wrong. She is very supportive. One of the reasons I have come this far in the competition. Her favorite food is jollof fried with fish, and her favorite color is white. Her hobbies are watching movies, cooking, and listening to gospel songs. Mrs. Blessing Inko, aside being a teacher, doubles as a businesswoman and also studies medicine counter assistantship at Farmatra's Professional College. This explains her busy schedule, despite which she makes time for her family. If you are looking for a modest, frank, homely, amicable woman, it is my mother. If you are asked to call an independent, devout Christian woman, it is definitely my mother. Who is as prudent and virtuous as my mother? Mama Blessing, I love you so much. I thank God for giving me a mother like giving me a mother like you. Thank you. All right, so I sense that um, passion in your reading. Yes. You can see I'm full of goosebumps. That's great. Charlie, you've done it, eh? Yeah? So do a survey for us. My mother. Mrs. Blessing Inko is my mother. She is a beautiful, determined, disciplined, and supportive mother. I love my mother very much. Thank you. All right, so mommy, we love you so much. Uh, at least, at least I've, I've read from your script that you're a very smart woman. So a woman who combines professional work with uh, business. That's great. All right, so pick one of them, for instance, and let us have the number. All right, so number three, right? So read the question for us. If you could grant mommy one wish, what do you think she would want? I think she would always tell me to be a good girl and stop being stubborn. That's what this wish for you, right? Yes, yes. All right. I want to commend you for your good reading. Mommy, thank you for taking care of our daughter. All right, so since you are a God-fearing person, may God help all of us, okay? God bless you. Bless you too. Hello, Ghanaians and cherished viewers of Brooklyn across the border. My name is Teofilo Samaha. I'm a contestant of Brooklyn Season 8 and a pupil of Prana International School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in this competition. I need your votes to progress to the next step. Brooklyn, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Papa T, how are you? I'm fine, sir. All right, so you tell us about mom, and then um, your dad will pick a question. My mother, I am extremely excited to introduce my mother to you because she fits the bill of the description of a good mother. Madam Favor Badu, who is my mother's name, and she is 45 years old. She comes from Denu in the Ketu South District of the Volta region, Ghana. My mother is a midwife and she is a Christian. She is married and she has three children, one boy and two girls. My mother is very unique in many ways. First, my mother fulfills her responsibilities from the moment she wakes up till she goes to bed. She takes care of and loves her children with all her heart. She is always there to guide us, make us feel safe, and give us comfort whenever we need it. Again, I always admire her kindness, unconditional love, patience, selflessness, and her readiness to put herself last in our needs and wants. My mother teaches us good manners and moral values. She corrects us when we are wrong, so that we get discipline and learn honesty and self-respect. My mother is an excellent cook. Cooking is a passion, and people always praise her for that. I love my mother, and I'm very proud of her. Thank you. All right, so you turn your paper and do a summary of what you just read. I read about my mother, and I am extremely excited to introduce my mother to you. My mother's name is Silva Badoni, and she comes from the in the Huta region of Ghana. My mother teaches us good manners, and she loves us with all her heart, and she puts herself last in all our needs and wants. My mother's passion is cooking. Thank you. All right. If I we allow you, go on and on and on and on. You can stop your home, right? Yes, sir. Daddy? Yes, sir. Me for one. But they could be for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Have you thought about this? You'll be a fine pastor if you want to. Oh, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you pick one. Um, question from there. Let us know the question number first. Okay. And then we can read the question to your son. Okay. I'm picking four. Okay, so four. Pick and open and read. Question four. What is mom's 
favor, fa favorite song. Sing something small. I like favorite song. Just a line or so. We thank you, God. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> nice escape. I like that. All right. So you have done so well. Your reading was good. You know, I've been telling you, you're a good reader. All right. Just, just some push. You'll get there. Okay. Thank so you. So we encourage that day and all your supporters to push you there. All yeah. right. Thank Daddy, you. you've done so well. Thank you for caring for our, our son. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. God bless you. All right. <laughs> and church viewers of Bookworm Across the Borders. My name is Inshraya Moa, a contestant of Bookworm Season 8 and a pupil of Seven Grace Princess Academy. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in this competition. Please, I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Inshraya, you're welcome. Thank you. You know, today we are doing a special Mother's Day uh, for Bookworm. Bookworm contestants like you. All right, so you read your script, telling us about your mom, and then we summarize, and mom will pick a question and we'll ask you, okay? Okay. All right, let's go, let's go. My mother, Rebecca Nature is my mother. She was born to Mr. Akai and Madam Mother Millicent Otu on May 30th, 1972. She is 51 years old, 1.58 meters tall and fair in complexion. My mother has four siblings of which she is the second. She speaks Ga and hails from Grace and Way, but currently lives in Dansuman. My mother is married to Mr. Theophilus Yamwa and they both have four children, of which I'm the last. She is a trader at Kanishi Markets and a board member of the Church of Pentecost, Dansuman. She enjoys Banku with Ogre Stew. White and gold have, are her favorite colors. During her leisure time, she loves to listen to gospel songs, especially the ones in the local dialect. When I'm sad, she cracks jokes to try to make me laugh. She finds out what the issue is and assists me in solving it. My, mo my mom is a woman of integrity. I love my mother because she takes good care of my siblings and me. My mother, hmm, is the best. Mother, hmm, is the best. All right, so turn the paper and then let us summarize. I read about my mother, and I said, and it, my mother is called Rebecca Nete. She was born to Mr. Akai Nete and Mother Millicent Oton May 30th, 1972, making her 15, 51 years old. My mommy is a woman of integrity. She tells us to tell the truth always, and also not to take things that do not be, belong to us without permission. All right, so as you tell the truth always, right? That's good. Ima. Praise God. Hallelujah. Abigail. Number four. What's mom's favorite song? Sing something small, maybe a line. Mom's favorite song. Did your mother very well? So, favorite song. The title of the song, and at least one line. All right, you done well. You done well. All right, so um, just just for our viewers to follow up, um, what simply she is saying is that we give thanks to God. We give thanks to God. We give thanks to God. Amen. 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 We are done. We are done. Thank you too for coming. God bless you. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, Ghanaians and cherished viewers of Bookworm Across the Border. My name is Shinis Bafua Emi, a contestant of Bookworm Season 8 and a pupil of North Kalgudu Preparation School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next day. Bookworm, me today, me too. Are you ready to make mommy proud? Yes, Are you sure? Yes, please. Okay, let's go. My lovely mother, a loving woman, a woman of all nations, a woman of patience, still guessing who she is. She is the ancestress of all Israelites. She is Sarah, Sarah Amankwa Puku. That's the name of my lovely mother, Sarah. 
such a great name can only be named after great people. And such a name cannot skip a person like my mother. Just a fun fact. She shares a name with our proud father, Mr. Nelson Kofi Poku, who is also the CEO of Bukwem and can personally attest to how great and prominent the name Poku is. Sweet 32 years and so counting, she was born in the Ashanti region of Ghana. To be precise, the land of gold and riches, Kumasi. Also, she is a pro fashion designer and a philanthropist. My mother is simply extraordinary. From the moment I entered this world, she has been there, nurturing and caring for me with all her heart. She taught me countless valuable lessons, from the importance of kindness and empathy to the power of perseverance. What I admire most about my mother is her ability to balance sev several responsibilities simultaneously without difficulty. Feeding my siblings, washing and cooking at the same time amazes me. When I stumble and fall, my mother is always there to pick me up, dust me off, and remind me that failure is just a stepping stone towards success. My mother encourages me to dream big and chase my passion fearlessly. She is not just a mother to me, but also a Captain America, a superwoman and a Spider-Man. So to all the amazing mother out there, including mine, thank you for everything you do. You are truly irreplaceable, and I am beyond lucky to have you in my life. Cheers to my mother and all mothers. Merci beaucoup. Wow. Eunice, frankly speaking, you've made your mom proud. Thank you. You're a good reader. Keep it up, okay? okay. You've read that well. Turn the paper and summarize what you just read and let's hear you. The name of my lovely mother is Miss Sarah Amankwa Poku. Her name Sarah is related to the mother of all Israelites in the Bible. Her name Poku is also related to our proud father, Mr. Nelson Kofi Poku, the CEO of Bukwem. She was born in the Ashanti region of Ghana. She is 32 years of age. She is a pro fashion designer right. and a All right, Eunice. Eunice, um, I wish the CEO is here with us. You've really made him proud too. <laughs> God bless you, okay? okay. All right. I want me, um, you are going to pick one of the papers. Okay. Then you mention the number to me. Then you read a question as well. So, Eunice, when she read a question, you are going to respond. Or answer, okay? Okay. Good. Number two. Number two. Yes. Okay. Let go. Eunice, what is that one thing you will never forget about me? Your smile. Come again. A smile. Oh, okay. Okay. A smile, right? Yes. Okay. Mommy, is it true? I, w I want you to smile and let's see. <laughs> Very good, very good, very good. You are very beautiful. Good. All right, so that's congratulations. Thank you. You've made it, okay? I'm proud of you. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Ghanaians and cherished viewers of Bukwem across the bodies. My name is Nathan Ishaba Isiyama a contestant of Bukwem Season 8 and a pupil of Ascot International School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bukwem, real today, late tomorrow. Thank you. I hope you know what you're going to do. Yes, please. And you're going to make more proud, right? Yes. Good. Okay, let's go. Great. Hi, Mara. Mara is an integral part in the life of every child and takes care of the entire family with utmost love. Care and affection. Her mother's name is Patience Guru. She comes from Georgia in the Volta region of Ghana and the second born of her parents. She has five siblings. She is fair in complexion and beautiful. She is five feet tall. She is happy when people are truthful and sad when we're truthful. Her hobby is singing. She's an accountant by profession. She's hardworking and happens to be one of the people I respect and love the most. She teaches me how to do simple house chores and helps me in my studies. She's always interested in finding out if everything is alright with me and makes sure I'm always happy. I love my mother very much. She is a kind hearted and caring mother. For me, my mother is the best mother in the world. Mom is the best mother in the world. Wow. Quickly turn the paper and summarize what you just read. My mother. My mother is an integral person in the life of every child and takes care of the entire family with utmost love, care, and affection. My mother's name is Patience Guru. She comes from Georgia in the, in, in the Volta region, Ghana, and is the second born of her parents. 
She has five siblings. She is fair in complexion and beautiful. She is happy when people are truthful and sad when untruthful. Her hobby is singing. She's an accountant by profession. She is hardworking and happens to be one of the people I respect and love the All most. Right. So when we please, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Mommy. Um, I want you to pick one of the papers and mention the number to me. Two. Number two. Yes, please. Okay. So kindly read a question and he's going to answer the question. What is that one thing you will never forget about mom? The way she cares for me. The way? She cares for me. The way she cares for you. All right. Mommy, we appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Yes. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Ghanaians and cherish viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Abna Frempong, a contestant of Bookworm Season 8 and a pupil of St. Peter's Mission School, Accra. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your votes to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. My mother, the most influential person in my life is my mother, my sister Kiprempo. I affectionately call her mommy. She is 47 years old and hails from Cape Coast in the central region of Ghana and currently stays at Mangul in Pachu. She is married to Mr. Manfekwesi Kiprempo, my father. My mother is a businesswoman. She is kind but a very strict woman. She reprimands me when I go wrong. She is a virtuous, diligent and God-fearing woman. She attends Global Revival Ministry Church. She includes music and movies in her hobby. My mother is a good cook and never misses cooking on weekends. I love my mother because she ignores her comfort and works very hard to take care of both immediate and extended family members. Mrs. Epifempo, my sweet mommy, I celebrate you today. I would not wish for a better mother. Abna, you've done all, okay? You've done all. Kindly turn the paper and summarize everything for me. My mother, by name, Mrs. Epifempo, age 47 years old, comes from Cape Coast in the central region of Ghana, but currently stays at Mangolin. My mother is a God-fearing, is a God-fearing, kind, gentle, and a good woman who always aims uh, at setting good examples for people. Good. Abna, you've done well. Mommy, you're welcome once again. Thank you. Good. So please, I want you to help me take one of the papers, mention the number to me first. Then you read four. a question. Question number four. All right. So we want to hear from you, mommy. What mother's favorite song? Yeah. So your mom's favorite song. You are going to mention the title. Then you sing something just a line for me. Okay. The title first. Believe me. Believe me. All right. So I want to hear from you. What have you done to me? I don't know. Believe me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, Abna, you've done well. God bless you, okay? You. Good. You've done well. Mommy, congratulations. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Hello, Ghanaians and Chinese viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Mao Yang Duku, a contestant of Bookworm Season 8 and a pupil of Zayonke International School Sege. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, we to daily tomorrow. Thank you. I hope no one going to. Yes, yes. Are you sure? Yes, yes. We are going to celebrate your mom, right? Yes, yes. Good. So are you ready? My mother, my mother, my bride. Miss Margaret Ashley Ama is the name of my lovely mother. 
Mama has her affectionately called her is a gun. She held from the mama here, but stayed as a gift. Mama is 40 years old. She's about 4.2 feet tall and dark in complexion. She has a pointed nose, charming eyes, silky black long hair, small mouth with clean lips and clean white set of teeth, which she reveals willingly as soon as she smiles. All these features show her African beauty. Mama, you are cute and beautiful. Mama had a basic second cycle and tertiary education at Dawina. Ada and Winneba respectively. My mother is a stand Christian who fellowships with the Sege Methodist Society and she is the family's prayer's backbone. Her favorite team is MHBC08, captain of Israel Host and Guide. And the scriptures she likes best are Exodus chapter 20, verse 12 and Matthew 7 7. My mother's favorite food is fufu with granola soup and smoked fish. And her favorite color is white. She enjoys singing and dancing to gospel music during her leisure hours. Mama is a professional teacher. She teaches at a dance senior high technical school. Mama is married to a giant, handsome, res responsible, caring, loving, and God-fearing man called Mr. Daniel Wausudufu. They are blessed with two children, of which I am the younger. I love my lovely mother because she has all the qualities of a good mother. In fact, Mama is a kind person who does not hesitate to help the needy. She is caring, loving, truthful, hardworking, and above all, God-fearing. Despite Mama's busy schedules, she always makes time for us. Mama, thank you very much. Mama, I am proud of you, and I will always make you proud. Mama, I will never disappoint you. Thank you. Good. It's awesome. Tell the paper. Then summarize everything for me. What I read is about my mother. My mother, my pride. The name of my mother is Miss Margaret. Now, as she, Miss Margaret, as she lay, Ama. Mama is married, is married to a giant handsome man called Mr. Daniel Mousy Dufu. He is loving, caring, responsible, and handsome. With, they are blessed with two children, of which I am the younger. Right. Mama had a basic second cycle and tertiary education Good. at Winneba, respectively. Good. Mama is 40 years old. She is a Thank professional you. teacher. She teaches at Adams Senior High Technical School. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dawo. Mama... <laughs> Yes, You're welcome. Uh, thanks so much. How are you doing? I'm doing great by His grace. Oh, we thank God. I believe you are from Tamamayam, right? Yes, Which please. part of Tamamayam? Please, I will do. I will do. Yes, please. Good, good, good. So please, um, kindly take one of the papers. Then you mention the number. Then you read a question. Please, number one. Number one. All right, so read a question. My little girl is going to ask her. What about na? What about mom despise you? Yes, that person. What, yes, what does mom do when she inspire you? Okay. Yes, please. To, what do I do, mama? What do I do to inspire you, na Mawira? Ma, mama encourages me to read more story books and sometimes tell me African tales. Wow. <laughs> Mama, you are yes, great. Judge. You are Thanks great. So God much. bless you, okay? Amen. She will go far. She will go far. Congratulations, Amen. my dear. Thank you. Good. So the kids have done it, and it's my turn. So I'm going to answer a question about my mom. Jude selected a question for me. So it says here, what is that one thing you'll never forget about mom? Okay. So mommy brought me to Bookworm. Yes, and she helped me win. She voted for me. She supported me. She was very hard on me, I admit, but like, it helped me, and I won Book Queen Season 1. So thank you, Mommy. So to vote for your favorite contestants today, they talked a lot about their moms, and they, they said a lot of good things about them. Mothers are really important to us, and these contestants have been able to express themselves so well. To vote for them, dial star 365, star 366, hash, and proceed to the short code for Karen Okran B2, in Inco Brightina B3, Samaha B5, Isha Yamwa B6, Eunice Bafua B7, Nathan Asiyama B10, Abena Frempon B11, and Mariam Duku B12. Let's go for a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> of 
taste. Another quality product from Twilliam Industrial Company Limited. This advert is FDA approved. and cherished viewers of Bookram Across the Borders. My name is Derek Sonim Kofi, a pupil of Air Force Primary and JTS and a contestant of Bookram Season 8. Please, I am here to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookram, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. So Derek, you know what I'm going to do, right? Yes, please. Good. I want to celebrate your mom. Are you ready? Yes, please. I want you to make her proud, okay? Okay. Good. Let's hear you. My Mother, My Hero by Derek Kofi. Mother is the most suitable word that I have learned so far. My mother is the most influential person for me in my life. She is not only hardworking but also very dedicated to her work. Early in the morning, she gets up before the sun rises and starts her daily activities. My mother's name is Hetty Kofi. She was raised in secondary in the western region of Ghana and comes from the central region of Ghana. When she is free, she likes to enjoy her favorite Bakwe tilapia soup. Her hobby is to use a melodious voice to sing gospel songs. She is a very beautiful and kind-hearted lady who manages everything at our home. I have special respect and admiration for my mother, as she is my first teacher who not only taught me the chapters from my book, but also shows me the right path in life. She cooks food for us, takes proper care of each member of the family, goes for shopping, etc. Though she remains busy all the time, she spares time for me and play with me, help me do my homework and guide me out in all activities. My mother supports me in my every activity. I love my mother and pray to God for her long life. Wow. <laughs> Derek, quickly turn your paper, then summarize what you just read. Let's hear you. My mother's name is Hedy Kofi. She was raised in secondary in the western region of Ghana and comes from the central region of Ghana. When she is free, she likes to enjoy her favorite banquet, the lapia soup. And she likes, her hobby is to use a melodious voice to sing gospel songs. My mother is my first teacher who not only taught me the, from the chapters of my book, but the right, how to walk the right path in life. Good, good, good. It's okay. It's okay. If I allow you, <laughs> you will finish everything. <laughs> You've done it. Okay. All right. Quickly, Ma, you are going to pick one of the pupils. Then you mention the number before you read today. Number four. Number four. Mm -hmm. All right. What's mom's favorite song? Just give me the title of the song. Then you sing just a line. Yes, I want to hear your voice. Intentions. <laughs> Come again. Intentions. Okay, so. By the intentions of my life. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Derek, <laughs> mommy, that was your favorite song, right? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Derek, <laughs> you've made it, okay? Thank Congratulations. You. Congratulations. <laughs> Ghanians and cherished viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Michelle Techi Insia, a contestant of Bookworm Season 8 and a pupil of Prince Legend Academy. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your votes to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, meet today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. Alright, so you are reading from the script, telling us about your mom. When you are done, you do a summary of what you read. Okay? And mom will pick a question and you answer. Okay. Difficult? Yeah. Okay, let's go. My mother. The name of my mother is Dora Tadika. She is 35 years of age. She hails from Keta in the Votal region of Ghana and stays at Agrikuma Bokoboko. She is fair in complexion, about 5 feet 
to five point seven feet tall and very gentle. She had her basic and junior high education at St. Charles Preparatory and gained an admission to continue her secondary education at St. Mary's. She works as a teacher at Prince Legend Academy. Her mother is very friendly by nature and very disciplined in all aspects of life. Despite having a busy schedule, she still has enough time to spend with him. She likes to be served jam with egg stew mostly on Sundays. Her favorite color is pink because it represents harmony, universal love for oneself and of others, inner peace, compassion, and approachability. Her hobbies are listening to music and watching movies. Dora Tadika has been my guardian in my major decision making in life. I have never regretted adherence to her advice that always worked for me. However, all, she is very protective and spiritually strong. I really love you, Mom, for trying to make me reach the apex of success. Alright, that's a good story about mom. Alright, so summarize what you learned from her. My mother. She my mother the name of my mother is Dora Atadika. She is thirty five years of age. She hails from Keta in the Volta region of Ghana and stays at Adekuma Bokopoko. She is fair in complexion. She has dark silky hair, um brown eyes and also, and she You mean brown eyes? Mm. That's good. That's good enough. Mommy. At least I read that you come, you stay at Adlokuma Boko Boko. Yes. <laughs> then everything about you is Boko. <laughs> <laughs> interesting, yeah. interesting. All right, so, Omi, you pick one paper there. Look at the number. You pick it. Okay, so number one. So, can you read the question to your daughter to answer? What about mom? inspires you. Thank you. She is able to express herself freely and also very confident. Very confident. Yes. No wonder you take your time to read. You know, I inspire, I'm inspired by the way you read. To be honest with you, you take your time, take the words one after the other. You are so eloquent. You know, anybody can hear you clear and that is nice. Thank okay. You. So keep it up and then make mommy proud. Okay. Mommy, God bless you for keeping our daughter safe. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right, so meet again. Uh, All the best. Hello, Ghanaians and cherished viewers of Bookworm across the borders. My name is Katrisa Klan. I'm Ajo Williams, a contestant of Bookworm season 8 and a pupil of Apostle Sofu School of Arts and Sciences. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Book when, read today, play tomorrow. Thank you. We have the evergreen Glenham Williams. The hairstyle is always the best. Thank you. All right. And so you turn the paper and start reading. Thank you. To summarize again and then we ask mommy to ask a question, okay? Thank you. All right, all the best. My mother, to begin with, I will reference Evelyn Hans from Mama is a sunrise. When she comes with footing through the door, she kindles us like lamp coal lighting. That is who Mama is to me. She always brings cheer and joy. My mother, Esther Dra, is a vibrant young woman with a striking beauty. Her beauty is only a compliment to her well and welcoming nature. My mother is 30 years of age, fair in complexion, and about 5 feet 4 inches tall. She hails from a flower in the Volta region and works as a professional stylist. She graces my hair with a pleated and trendy hairstyle. This helps to boost my confidence. She her favorite delicacy is the love rice and ghost tea. Her favorite game is Ludo. She likes it when I do the writings at the right time and corrects me whenever I go wrong. I love my mother because of her supportive nature. Thank you. Alright, <laughs> so you turn the paper and then we summarize. The title of the passage is My Mother. The name of my mother is Eshadra. She is 30 years of she is 30 years old and fair in complexion. She she corrects me whenever I go wrong and and I and I You love your mother so much, right? I'm happy you are telling me. <laughs> All right, mommy. What's yes. your problem? Thank you. Uh, I, I now know why you put your hairstyle is very nice. <laughs> Interest in your hair. <laughs> Thank anyway, you so for that. Let's let's pick one of the sheets there and let's see the number you have. Okay. The number first. 
So read the question again. What's mom's favorite song? All right, so what's my mom's favorite song? At least give us the title of the song and say one line, yes. just one line. Mom's favorite song. Good sing. Good what? Good sing. Okay, sing one line. Have you got with a handy day? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Are you sure it's mom's songs or your own song? <laughs> it's not our song. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. Now, let me just um, refer you back to your previous performances. Very passionate, this one. All right? Thank you. You can see what constant practicing can do. Today, your reading was the best. Or is the best. All right? You're Thank eloquent. You. you can read well. So, it tells you that when you can practice, you can read. I hope you understand that. Yes, please. Yeah. So don't joke again. Okay. All right. You have come this far. Make sure you maintain what the pace you have set today. Thank you. I hope you understand that. Yes, please. All the best. Thank At least today you deserve something like that. Okay. <laughs> All right. All the best. Hello, Ghanaians and cherished viewers of Bukwem across the borders. My name is Karen Abba Brown, a contestant of Book Crime Season 8 and a people of Woodhouse International School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Book Web, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. All right, all right. I'm fine. Yeah, fine. Okay, so you, you read from the script, telling us about mom. When you are done, you do a summary of the script, and then mom will ask a question, okay? My mother, sincerely, words can never be enough to describe my mother. So this essay will just throw a little light on my mother. God, who, who, who cannot be touched as human, created Mrs. Abigail Brown for me as a mother. She hails from Bomankra in the central region of Ghana, which makes her a fancy. She is married to Pastor Lady Brown and blessed with three children, of which two are girls and a boy, where I happen to be the first child. Ms. Bra Mrs. Brown works at the Tamahapo as a clearing agent. She is very healthy and she is about five feet tall. She has a brown skin type and also a midline diastema, which makes her hair more beautif beautiful. She is industrious, intelligent, kind, loving, generous, and above all, a disciplinarian. Her favorite food is banco and pepper with fried tilapia. She loves to play with us and take us shopping at her leisure time. Mrs. Brown is my first teacher. She taught me how to walk, eat, talk, and not forgetting the training to tame my desires as I grow. Learn good manners and apply self-control, just as a driver applies brake to a vehicle to avoid distraction. She is my best friend and inspirer. Though I had a secret weapon, which is fear, I turned out awesome because I had a mother who always believes in me, and that is how I find myself here at this very moment. Mommy, I will forever love you. All right, at least we know Mommy is a clearing agent. You blessed with such a pot, and that's great. So turn the paper and then summarize what you just read. Mrs. Abigail Brown is my mother. She comes from Gomankra in the central region of Ghana, which makes her a fancy. She is married to Pastor Lady Brown and blessed with three children, of which three children, two are girls and a boy. She works at Mahabo as a clearing agent. She is. She has a brown skin type. She. Ha, she is five feet tall. She. Her favorite food is banco and pepper with fried tilapia. All right, banco and pepper and fried tilapia. <laughs> Mommy, yeah. you're welcome. Thank you. So there, there are some people in front of you. Pick one and let us know the number first. Okay, number four. Number four. Okay, so read for us. Question four. What's mommy's favorite song? Sing something small. Over to you. Um, praise, praise the... I think we can't remember the title, so... Pray. 
Are you sure mommy's pastor's wife? <laughs> yes. Mommy's pastor's wife? Yes. Okay, so sing this. I'll, 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 you have to sing. I'll not let you go. The song mommy sings a lot in the house or at church. I don't allow you to do it. Eh? Anyway, 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 let me spare you. Uh, I, I suspect mommy likes praise songs, right? Yes. You can hear the praise, praise, praise. <laughs> <you know? laughs> anyway, congratulations. You've done well. Your appearance is actually superb. I, I was even asking if mommy is a fashion designer. Not, not no, he's a great agent. <laughs> All right, so all the best. Mommy, thank you for looking after our daughter. God bless you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hello, Ghanaians and cherry viewers of Bookworm Across the Borders. My name is Tiara Maranik Pelham Etine. I am a contestant of Bookworm Season 8 and a pupil of Yahweh International School. I want to encourage you all to vote for me, to keep me in this competition. I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Book them. Read today. Read tomorrow. Thank you. Let me give you a welcome. Please, thank you. All right, so you read about your mom. You get a summary about your mom. And your mom will be encouraged to pick a question and then you answer. Okay? Yes, please. Yes, start. My mother. My mother is Dora Tolapetine. She's middle-aged, five feet tall, and very fair in complexion. If you are wondering why I'm dark, Please wait until you meet my dad. My mom enjoys cooking delicious meals. Indeed, her jollof rice is probably the best in the world. When it comes to learning, my mom says, a little at a time, always at it. This inspired my consistent reading habit. My mom is jovial, but also a good friend of the king. She is a professional teacher, a Sunday school teacher, and freelance phonics trainer. She is simply amazing and a role model. All right, so you turn the paper and then summarize. The passage is about my mother, who is Gloria Philip Etienne. She is middle-aged and medium height. She's also a very good teacher who trains other teachers about phonics, which is freelance. She's, her hobby is teaching, and she's very, her hobby is Right. Cooking right. delicious right. meals, and she's very good at it. All right. All right. I love my mother because she's not just a role model, yes. but a very good mother. Yes, I know. I know. <laughs> Mommy, you're welcome. Thank you. At least I have discovered you are best at your love. So when Ghana and Nigeria meet, you'll be the contestant <laughs> yes. for us, okay? Yes. <laughs> All right. And so you'll pick one question from there. Okay. And then um, you read for us. Can you see? I should help you out. Yes, I can see. Okay, so read it. Okay. What's, what's the number, please? Hold on. Num the number. Is number five. Number five. Okay. okay. So, Tiara, what is one thing you did with mom that made you very happy? Okay. I, I, went, I went out there with my mom, and it made me very happy. Mommy, congratulations. Thank you for taking care of our daughter. Thank you. I was looking at your picture in your husband. Your husband looks like somebody I know. Very familiar face. <laughs> yeah, I can see I enjoy marriage a lot. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All the best. Congratulations to Thank both you. of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hello, Ghanaians and cherished viewers of Bookworm Across the Borders. My name is Princess Ellie Queen Williams a contestant of Bookworm Season 8 and a pupil of Apostle Sappho School of Arts and Sciences. Please, I encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. Please, I need your votes to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Please, I'm fine. Okay, so you start reading about your mom. My mother. My mother, Esther Dra, is, an, is caring, kind and kind woman. Because of her nature, I will agree with Mitch Alban's quotes that says that when you look into your mother's eyes, you know that's the purest love you can find on earth. My mother is fair in complexion and about five feet, 
four inches tall. She comes from Aflao in the Volta region. She is the facilitator of the Vibrant Children's Fellowship at the Living Breath Prophetic Church. My mother is a hairstylist by profession. At her, her hobbies are reading and dancing. Her favorite meal is jollof rice and goat stew. And her favorite game is Ludo. I always cherish our boogie times of fun and dancing. She is very time conscious and dislikes when I mismanage my time. I love my mother and I'm always assured of her love for me. Thank you, Mauna Iram. All right, Mauna Iram. So I'm just trying to marry the relationship between jollof rice and goat stew. Anyway, that's good. So turn it over and then summarize what you read. The person I read about is my mother. My, the name of my mother is Esther Dra. She, she is about five, four feet tall. She is, she comes from a flower in the Volta region. She is the vibrant children's fellowship at Living Bread Prophetic Church. At her leisure time, you will find her reading, or da, reading a Bible or dancing. I love my mother because of she's right, kind. Right, your mother can dance. Thank you. Mommy. Yes. You're welcome again. Thank you. All right, so pick one of the papers again and let's ask some questions. Okay. Let's read the number first. Okay. Four. Number four. Yeah. Hey, this thing again. Let's go. I want to say something. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say something? I want to say something here. Yeah. You want to say something? I, was, I want to see whether she will get it here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, what's mom's favorite song? Butter my bread. Butter your bread. Okay, so can you sing it? It's just a line. You give me love, you give me love in your body. Ah, butter my bread, sugar my tea, and in your body, oh, lie, lie. Everybody crushing you, but I wanted to marry oh, you. It's okay, it's okay. I guess it's a gospel song, right? Please, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you. <laughs> anyway, so you've done quite well. So impressive, so impressive. And so the same thing goes to you. Constant practicing is good, all right? Okay. So read, your, your reading was very good, very good, as compared to the previous ones. Very good today. And it tells me that this week, you really practice well. So the tasks I gave you, you did well, all right? Yes. So, Mommy, go and give um, Ellie Plain to the Apple Soup, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all the best. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Of Book All Across the Borders. My name is Richard Okoy, contestant of Book Camp Season 8 and a pupil of Rock International School. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in this conversation. I need your vote to progress to your next stage. Book well, read today, read tomorrow. Thank you. The super lady herself. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. All right, so you are doing something about your mom today? Yes, please. So after the script, you summarize, okay? okay. Your mom will ask you a question. <laughs> are you ready for that? Yes. Okay, let's start. My mother. The name of my mother is Mrs. Echama Adukukui. She's popularly known as Nane Echama. She was born on 30 January 1983. She's 40 years of age. Nane Echama is dark in complexion and has nourished fashionable hair. She is 5 feet 3 inches tall. My mother comes from Kopiridia, Sokoro, in the eastern region of Ghana, but she stays at Dansuma in the Greater Accra region. My mother is a professional nurse. Aside her full time profession as a nurse, she has great interest in baking. She bakes pies, chips, cookies, cakes, croissants, muffins, and bread. The pastries and food made by my mother taste better and delicious than any other food sold in town. She's married to Mr. Christian Ufu. She's blessed with two girls and a boy. My mother is a devoted Christian. She worships at the Presbyterian Church of Ghana in Manor Congregation Sahara. She makes sure we never miss Sunday service. Mommy is a disciplinarian and believes in the saying that spread the rod and spoil the child, which is found in Proverbs chapter 13, verse 24. Her hobbies are baking and reading. My favorite color is wine. My mother is a great person to my family and me because she takes care of all the responsibilities of a mother. Mommy, I love you for all that you do, for your wisdom and kindness, your patience and generosity, and for always believing in me. You are the biggest gift God has given me. I'm so lucky to have you as my mom. I really love you, and I really love you, and always pray for God's blessings upon your life. Thank you. Oh, that's great. That's great. At least uh, I'm sure Mommy and I share the same year group. Okay, that's that's a secret. <laughs> all right. So, turn the paper and let's summarize. My mother, 
The name of my mother is Mrs. Nane Ichi, Mrs. Ichama Adunike. She's popularly known as Nane Ichama. She, she comes from Koforidua Sokore in the eastern region of Ghana. She's a professional nurse. Then she's married to Mr. Christian Opoi and is blessed with two girls and a boy. Her mother is a devoted Christian. She works at the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Emmanuel Congregation, Sahara. Mommy, I love you for all that you do. Um, I really love you and pray for God's blessings all right, upon your all right. life. That's a part of the summary, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Mommy, you're welcome. Thank you. I want to thank you for projecting your daughter the best way. All right. And so we'll take one of the paper and let's make a number and make a question. Three. So we read the question so that she will answer. If we could grant mom one wish, what do you think she would want? If we could grant mom one wish, what do you think she would want? She would want us to still study hard and never give up in life. That's mommy's wish. If we, if it were. Granting mom a wish, she will want you to study hard. Yeah, the mom, mom is a bookworm. Yeah. Charlie, you've done well. You've done well. Every time, Charlie, you perform great. And that is great, okay? So keep it up. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Ghanaians and Charlie viewers of bookworm across the borders. My name is Fesla Moshud, a contestant of Bookworm Season 8 and a pupil of Four Schools Limited. Please, I want to encourage you to vote for me to keep me in the competition. Please, I need your vote to progress to the next stage. Bookworm, read today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. So, Fesla, I hope you know what I want to do. Please, yes. You're ready to celebrate your mom, right? Please, yes. All right, I'll let you. My remarkable mother. Lishamoshu is a great neuron who has overcome numerous obstacles to provide the best for her children. She is indeed my faithful and loyal mother, acting as my shelter and provider. At 41 years of age, she hails from Achiabi in the Volta region, but currently resides in Accra. She is married to Mr. Imano Moshud, my father. She is truly a unique individual with a warm and kind heart. She does not only take care of my siblings and I, but also extends her love towards others. Her constant encouragement and love for the Bible drive me to work hard. It's no surprise that she possesses intelligence and wisdom. She's as brave as a warrior, fierce as a lioness, and vigilant like an eagle. Fisha Moshul is a woman who doesn't hesitate to push her children to excel. She asks questions and offers guidance when needed. She's my mom, my heartbeat, my strong pillar, and a formidable force. I do not say this all the time, but I really love and appreciate you, mom. Thank you. Huh. Mom, we love you, <laughs> and we appreciate you. Thank you. Good. So that, tell the paper. Then summarize what you just read. My remarkable mother, Felicia Moshud. She she is a she is a strong woman. She hails from the uh, she hails from the Volta region and resides in Accra. She is an intelligent and loving woman who res performs her responsibility as a mother and a wife. She is brave as a warrior, fierce as a lioness, and vigilant like an eagle. She is my heartbeat, my strong pillar, and a formidable force. I love and appreciate you, Mom. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So, Mom, as she said, you are the heartbeat yeah. to her. Thank you. So, Mommy, please um, kindly take one of the paper, one of the papers, then mention the number to me. Okay. Then you read the question to her. She wants to have an answer. Okay. Number one. Number one. Okay. So, Ma, let's hear you, please. You can read from the screen, too. What about mom and spouse view? She, ex she extends her love towards others, not only I and my siblings. Not only you and your siblings. Wow. Yes, Good. You've done well. Okay? Congratulations. Thank you. Just read all the time when you go home. Make sure you do more reading, okay? You are good and you go far, okay? Thank you. God bless you. Mommy, God bless you. God bless you too. God bless you. Okay. Thank you. So that was interesting. 
Sibukon is one huge family as they are brought together to do the passion of winning. I think I said this once before, and I'll say it again. And you can be part of that family by voting. Yes. You'll always be remembered as one who helped in their success. So that so to make to help your favorite contestants proceed in this competition, now star three six five, star three six six hash and proceed to the short code for Derek Kofi B thirteen, Michelle Insian B fourteen. Kalena Williams B15, Abba Brown B17, Tiaya Kalin Etume B18, Elipne Williams B19, Rachel Foley B20, and Prisna Moshi B25. So it's been a wonderful episode. So again, happy Mother's Day. So Abukam here is Bukam Happy Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to mothers out there. And thank you to Mommy for for dressing me up as usual today, just wanted to take it simple. So one of our judges, Sarah, wants to say happy birthday to his mother, Grace Sam. So happy birthday, Miss Grace Sam, and may God grant you long life. Anyway, this is the end of today's episode. Remember, book and read today, read tomorrow. Bye. From week one to the quarterfinal, we have witnessed great intellectual display, improvement in composure, fluency, and confidence from our intelligent and exceptional contestants. And now, introducing to you all semi finalists from the upper primary, we have Karin Okran, Inko Brightina, Teofilos Samaha, Inshira Yamua, Eunice Bafua, Nathan Esiama, Abna Frimpom. Mawiram Duku, Derek Kofi, Michelle Insia, Clenam Williams, Abba Brown, Tiaya Balim Etime, Nam Williams, Rahel Ofue, Prisla Mushu. And from the lower primary, we have Ebenezer Akbaribo, Janelle Adams, Ransford Apia, Gabriela Jogbanyue, Eva Obing, Sika Dapa, Dorothy Dakwa, Gad Akofu, Elizabeth Damsing, and Sonia Achampong, who qualifies to the grand finale of Bookworm Season 8. This competitive stage, your guess may be as good as mine. All you need to do now is to pick up your mobile devices and vote your outstanding and favorite contestants as they also work hard to qualify to the grand finale. Bookworm, read today.